Hello friends, welcome to online study for you. This is Pratik Srivastava here and our today's topic of discussion is previous year question paper of TCS NQT. So this video will be very useful for the student, those who are going to write TCS NQT 2019 and 2020. So please watch out the complete video to understand what kind of question comes in exam and how do we attempt the questions using the shortcut techniques in less amount of time. So let's start with question number one. Question number one is given that zero a is greater than 0, B is greater than A, C is greater than B and D is greater than C. So which of the following is the largest? So after seeing these questions, you don't have to get panic. This is one of the very simple question. See what we can do is we can assume the value of A, B, C and D. See you can assume any value, but if you assume simple value, then our calculation will be easy. So I have assumed the value of A is equal to 1, B is equal to 2, C is equal to 3 and D is equal to 4. The reason is D is greater than C, C is greater than B, B is greater than A and anyway A will be greater than 0, right? Okay. Now put this value in the option and get the answer that is also called option attack method, right? Okay. So we will put the value of the A, B, C, D in the option and then we will see which option is the largest, right? So option A if you will take c plus d so what is the value of c c value is 3 d value is 4 right okay option a and what is the value of a a value is 1 and b value is 2 so this will see 7 divided by 3 so this will be something around 2.3 right c 2.3 will be 6.9 so you can say around 2.3 now option b a plus d so a is what 1 d is what 4 and divide by b plus c so b is what 2 and c is what 3 so 5 divided by 5 this will give you 1 right okay now let's take option c b plus c so b is 2 and c is 3 divided by a plus d a is 1 and d is what 4 so this is 5 divided by again 5 this will give you 1 right okay now option d b plus d divided by a plus c now b plus d b is what 2 and d is what 4 so 2 plus 4 divided by a plus c so a is 1 and c is 3 so this will be 6 by 4 this will be equal to what 1.5 so you can see the option a is the largest one right okay now here you don't have to do all those things i mean you don't have to divide each and every option and then you have to check for the answer right okay you check in the option which is having the less denominator which is having the lower denominator so let's check the denominator which denominator is having the lesser value so a plus b a plus value will be 3 b plus c b plus c will be 5 then you see a plus d so a plus d will be 5 then you see a plus c so a plus c will be 4 right so you can see here the lesser denominator is having so option A is having the lesser denominator. So option A will be the correct answer for this given question, right? So you don't have to solve each and every option. You just check which option, which option is having lesser denominator. So what will happen if the denominator will be less, then automatically the value which you will be getting will be bigger. So option A is having the lesser denominator. That means option A is the correct answer for this question, right? Okay, let's move to the question number two. Question number two is a very important question and this kind of questions will be generally asked in your TCS exam and I have seen many a times a student doing mistake in this kind of question. So what mistake the students will do in this kind of question that we will understand first and then I will tell you how to solve this question. So how many different integers can be expressed as the sum of three distinct number from the set of eight numbers. So what a student will do they will write 8c3 they will solve and they will tell that is the answer but here we are not going to select three numbers out of the set of eight right okay so let's understand the question how many different integers so how many different integers you can get after adding the three distinct number see the question is if you are adding 3 plus 10 plus 17 then you will get one number that will be 30 right again if you will add 10 3 plus 10 plus 24 then again you will get the next number right again if you will add 3 plus 10 plus 31 then you will get what 44 so like this if you are adding the numbers then how many different integers you will get so that's what has been asked in the question right so they are not asking you to select the three numbers out of the set of eight numbers and then add right so don't do this kind of mistake don't calculate the combination don't select three out of the eight numbers right okay now you can see so once we started adding this is a list number 
and then again 37 then again 44 and if you will select the largest number then 38 plus 45 plus 52 see this three addition of these three numbers will give you the highest number 5 plus 2 is 7 7 plus 8 is 15 6 plus 4 is 10 10 plus 3 is 13 so 135 will be the largest number right okay so now we have the numbers 30 37 44 and something like 135 right and we have to calculate how many different integers can be expressed right okay so this is nothing but arithmetic progression so you can see the common difference is the common difference is 7 here and the first term is 30 here and the last term is 135 and basically we have to calculate how many numbers are there how many different integers can be formed by adding three of the numbers right okay so the formula will be the total numbers see this is uh, if any series in arithmetic progression then for calculating total numbers will be the last term minus the first term divided by common difference plus one this is universal formula which you have to remember so 135 minus 30 divided by 7 plus 1 so 105 divided by 7 plus 1 so this will be 15 plus 1 will be equal to 16 so there are total 16 different integers can be expressed as a sum of three different numbers right so this is a very simple question but in exams generally student shouldn't do the mistake by calculating the combination for that right okay let's move to the question number three question number three is a question from the topic average right okay of a set of 30 numbers the average of first 10 number is equals to the average of last 20 numbers see the average of first 10 numbers is equals to the average of last 20 numbers right okay now what is the formula for average so average will be sum divided by number okay let's take one example suppose if you have to calculate average of 2 4 6 8 then the average will be equal to sum that means 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 and divide by how many numbers are there 1 2 3 4 4 numbers are there so now 2 plus 4 is 6 6 plus 6 is 12 12 plus 8 is 20 so 20 divided by 4 will be what 5 so the average of this numbers will be 5 like this we calculate average right okay now the average of first 10 number is equal to the average of last 20 number so average will be again sum divided by number right okay here also the average will be sum divided by number so what will be the sum see sum we don't know so we can write sum of 10 numbers divided by and what will be the number so 10 numbers are there so divide by 10 right okay now this is sum of first 10 numbers right okay now the sum of last 20 numbers so sum of last 20 numbers and divide by how many numbers will be there so 20 numbers are there so that means 20 now 10 will divide this by two times so i can say from here sum of last 20 numbers is equals to if i am doing cross multiplication 2 into sum of first 10 number right okay now check your option what has been given in the option so the sum of last 20 numbers they are asking what will be the sum of last 20 numbers so the sum of last 20 number is equals to 2 into sum of first 10 numbers 2 into sum of first 10 numbers so option c will be the correct answer for question number three which is a very simple question given to you right okay let's move to the question number four question number four is again a question of average right okay a student average or arithmetic mean average is also called as arithmetic mean so a student average test score on four test is 78 so now average we know average is equals to sum divided by number right okay so the student average test score for four test so number is what four they are telling four test and average average is given what 78 so i can calculate sum here so sum will be what average into number right okay so 78 into 4 so 4 into 8 is 32 2 3 will be in hand 4 into 7 is 28 28 plus 3 will be what 31 so the sum for the four matches will be equal to 312 right okay now what has been told in the question we'll read what must be the student score on the fifth test for the student average score 
on the fifth test to be 80 so till fourth test the student average was 78 see the meaning of the average is a student is scoring 78 runs in each match right okay now a student average has to be 80 after the five match so average after the five match will be sum divided by number so average has to be 80 right okay now sum of five match if we'll talk about the number then a, st a student will play how many matches five match so now sum of five matches will be what 400 right 80 into 5 so 80 into 5 will be 400 right okay so if a student will play five match then his sum of runs will be what sum of his scores will be what 400 and sum of four matches scores is what 312 so in fifth match in fifth match how much he scored in fifth match score is nothing but 400 minus 312 so 10 minus 2 is 8 9 minus 1 is 8 so the student scored 88 runs and because of that his average become 80 in the fifth match see till fourth match the student average score test score on till fourth test is 78 what must be the student score on the fifth test so fifth test what must be the score of a student so that his average score becomes 50 right okay so the average score has to become 80 so the student will score 88 runs in the fifth match fifth test right so i hope you understood question number four let's move to the question number question number five seems to be very big but the solution will be very easy so you don't have to get afraid with the number of lines in the question right okay so let's read the question a play school has chocolates which can supply 50 students for 30 days for the first 10 days only 20 students were present how many more students can be accommodated into the earlier group such that the entire chocolates get consumed in 30 days assume each student takes the same number of chocolates right okay so we'll do one by one right okay so let's assume first let's assume each student get one chocolate each student gets one chocolate right okay now you see the first line a play school has chocolates which can supply 50 students for 30 days so one student is taking one chocolates so 50 student will take what 15 to 1 50 chocolates and that chocolates has to be supplied for 30 days that means what is the total number of chocolates so 1500 is the total number of chocolates see the first line we have easily got the number of chocolates from the first line right okay now for the first 10 days only 20 students were present so 20 student each student is taking one chocolate so for the first 10 days only 20 students were there that means how many chocolates would have consumed so 200 chocolates would have already consumed now what is the remaining chocolates so remaining chocolates is nothing but 1500 minus 200 which is equals to 300 because for the first 10 days only 20 students were there 30 students were absent right okay so this is nothing but 1300 okay now this 1300 chocolate has to get consumed in how many days has to get consumed in 20 days right because the total number of days for the chocolate consumption was 30 days out of that already 10 days 20 students were there so 200 chocolate is consumed right okay now 1300 chocolate had to get consumed in 20 days so if we we'll divide by 20 then it will be 65 that means 65 chocolate has to be distributed on per day right 65 chocolate has to be distributed per day right okay so now how many students are there 20 students are there so we need to add 45 more student so that the 1300 chocolates will get consumed in another 20 days right okay that means you can say the total 1500 chocolates will get consumed in the 30 days so what will be my answer my answer will be 45 that means how many more students so 45 more students has to be added so that the 1300 chocolates will get consumed in 20 days so i hope you understood all the five questions if you really understood the questions the solutions then please comment in the comment box so that i'll be making more number of videos for your exam thanks a lot